Novak Djokovic has one of the best two-handed backhands in the game, so what can we learn from this great stroke? Hey guys, this is James from the OTI coaching team, so let's dive right into this. And one of the main key aspects to developing a good two-handed backhand is having a good unit turn. So what are the main areas that you have to focus on to develop a good unit turn? So let's take a look at Novak here. And the first thing we're going to see is that he prepares his racket by simply turning his upper body and shoulders away from the target. And there is little arm movement here. And he gets into this fully coiled position right here. Now, the common problem we see with club players is they have too much focus on the arms and they end up preparing the racket by simply taking the arms back independently to the body. Now, this can result in a lot of problems and it can also result in a large backswing. So it is something we do want to avoid. So what you want to focus on instead is simply turning your upper body and shoulders away from the target whilst the arms are doing almost nothing. And now in this fully curled position, you can see that he has positioned his feet and he has pivoted his left foot here, whilst the weight is now primarily on the outside leg. We can also see that he has created this separation angle between his shoulders and his hips. By doing this, he's pre-stretched the muscles, which will then be naturally released into the ball. Now, a good indication that you've sufficiently turned enough and you've coiled your upper body is that you get into this position here where he is looking over his dominant shoulder. Now, this is a good cue for you to have in mind when you're working on this unit turn. Also in this position, you can see that his hidden arm is relatively straight. Now, this is just a guideline, but also you can see that the hidden arm is now close to his body. This is key since it's now going to allow him to swing inside out. And also we can see that his hands are away from his body here but they remain on the hidden side. They do not to continue to go any further back behind his body, so he has what we call the short compact motion. And also, the last thing we can see, the tip of his racket is now pointing slightly up and towards the back fence. Now, this is very important since, as I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of players simply put too much focus on the arms and they end up preparing the racket by taking the arm back and then they end up in a position where the tip of the racket is pointing more towards the left side and it's behind their back. So the backswing is now too large. So that is something you do want to avoid. And you want this position instead where the tip of the racket is pointing slightly up and towards the back fence here. So just to summarize the main keys for a good unit turn. Number one, you want to really focus on simply preparing the racket by turning your upper body and shoulders away from the target whilst the arms are doing almost nothing and that you, you get into this fully coiled position right here where you have positioned your feet and you have pivoted the left foot here whilst the weight is primarily on the outside leg. Also, you have turned your upper body against your hips, creating that pre-stretch in the muscles. Your arm is relatively straight, your hitting arm, and it is close to your body, allowing you to swing inside out. And also, the tip of your racket is now pointing slightly up and towards the back fence whilst the hands are away from your body, but they remain on the hidden side. And by having a good unit turn, it's going to number one, make it easier for you to execute the other key aspects to a good two-handed backhand, and also it's going to allow you to generate more effortless power on the stroke. So it's something we highly recommend you work on.